Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.2 is now released to the public. Apple released it at about 12 a.m. Eastern time on a Saturday, which is very unusual, but it came in at 430.7 megabytes on an iPhone 10. So if you have an iPhone 10, that should be about the same size as the update. Let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 15C114, and this is the same as if you have iOS 11.2 beta 6 already. So if you do have beta 6, you'll just go to general, scroll all the way down, go to your profile, delete the profile, reboot, and you'll already be updated. There won't be an update if you're on the beta, but for everyone else, there'll be an update. Now, this particular update adds a lot of different little tweaks and changes. The first one is wireless fast charging for the wireless charging devices. So iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 now have 7.5 watt fast charging. So if you have one of those devices, it will fast charge kind of since fast charging on an iPhone really is more like 24, 24 watts or 10 or 12 watts with an iPad charger. So it's not much faster, but it is a little bit faster for wireless. Now, if you have an iPhone 10, you'll have three new wallpapers that aren't available on the other devices. And I'll show you that in a moment, but you also get new wallpapers on the previous iOS 11 devices. So you'll have those on your device, but you won't have new live wallpapers that are only available on the iPhone 10. One of them is the one in the background and there's three more right here. So you've got this one, you can animate it. You've got the one I currently am using. And then you have this one, it's got a little more colors to it, or it's more colorful. And those are exclusive to the iPhone 10 for some reason. Now, the next thing they've added is iMessage peer-to-peer -peer payments or Apple Pay Cash. So that is available if someone has 11.2. You can't send it to anyone else without 11.2 or Apple payments set up through the wallet app or through Apple Pay. So you go here, you hit the pay button, and then you can pay if they have 11.2. Now there's also some updates to emojis. There's little tweaks here and there. So you'll have to discover a lot of those. You'll probably find them over time. They're tiny little tweaks to some of the emoji. So you'll have that updated as well. Now one of the other fixes they've done is where you would type IT for example and it would auto correct to something completely different. And Apple's fixed that in this particular update as well. Just like they did with the other weird tweak that they did with autocorrect in the previous update. So that's fixed in this update. Now there's a new line in the upper right hand corner of an iPhone 10. If you turn it off and go to the lock screen, you've got a little line letting you know that control center is there. And then also in control center, you have new icons for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. When you turn them off, they've got a little white icon now, and it also tells you that it's disconnecting just for the day. So you, the first time you do that, after you've updated, you'll get a little pop-up box that tells you that it's turning it off for the day. And if you want to truly disable it, you'll have to go into the settings and tweak it there as far as turning Wi-Fi on or off. So unfortunately, that's the only way to do that still. They haven't changed that. Now there's also a new update on the widgets page. If you go over here, you can pull down and you'll go right to search. You couldn't do that before. You had to type in the top. It's just a little tweak. And then the next thing is there's a big performance improvement. So for Many of you on iPhone 10s or iPhone 8 or previous versions, even in iPhone 6, you should see a performance update. So when you go in and start typing, there was delays. There aren't any delays anymore. Things are nice and fast and much more smooth compared to what they were before. There's also a lot of UI tweaks all over, especially in Apple Music. So you've got a lot of different tweaks to the, the user interface. Uh, maybe you're going into something like this. You'll see a lot of different album tweaks and things just seem to be smoother overall. Now, if you're a developer, you now have available the ability to do an introductory price to a subscription. So maybe you're subscribing to something like 1Password and you want to give an introductory price for your application that you're making. You can do that without creating a whole separate application to do that. That's now an option for developers. Now, the two things that aren't in here are any tweaks to the dark mode as far as a true dark mode. There's changes to some of the accessibility options, but there's also no iMessage and iCloud. It's just not present in this particular update. So we don't know if that's coming later with iOS 11.3 or not. Now there are quite a few different tweaks to performance. There's improvements to stability and things just like calendar. There's issues where settings could open to a blank screen. Lots of little things like that are fixed. So I'll leave a list of all the things that are fixed on my website and I'll post that to Twitter as well. But there's a lot of tiny little fixes that hopefully address issues for most people.
Now, I always do a geek bench on these, and this is going to be the same thing as it was yesterday with iOS 11.2 beta 6. With beta 6 and this version, which is the full version, you're going to have the same thing, 10,106 and 4,217 for some of the earlier betas. So it's still very fast, and I think most people will appreciate the performance improvements that they get on their device with this update. If you have an iPhone 6 running iOS 11.1.3, definitely update if you're on iOS 11 already. You should see quite a few imp uh, performance improvements and all sorts of little tweaks to the camera, things like it opening faster, stability of the camera when you're doing video should be improved. Now the big things that you'll see changes with are basically just the Apple Pay cache and the little tweaks all over the place, the faster wireless charging, and the added wallpaper. There's not a whole lot of things that you'll see on the surface at first, but you'll see little tweaks to things like corners, uh, all sorts of things in the control center when you 3D touch. There's animations that might be smoother. Icons might be a little bit more round, for example. And that's pretty much it. Not a lot of other major features, but hopefully this will really help with stability for a lot of people, especially on iPhone 6. Also, one thing to note is there was a boot loop bug where people were having with the previous version of iOS 11.1.2 where it would just continuously boot and they couldn't get it out of that. This fixes that issue as well. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what's new in iOS 11.2. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.